Hey there, TRW crew, Matt Vassallo here with rhinestoneworld.com. So this video tutorial in Corel Draw and the TRW Stone Wizard is just going to show you how to create some uh, pretty cool text inside a tail like this. So Michelle, one of the TRW crew members, had a question as far as how to recreate this design with this ACES design, but get this baseball to kind of fit in there a little bit nicer like this is. So this is the design that um, we created for her real quick to help out, but I'm going to show you guys how to create something like this to make it easier for you in the future so you can do it yourself. So let's just say we take this baseball out of here. And this is the design that um, I got from Michelle to be able to put that baseball in. So pretty easy to do. I'm going to, what I'll do is I'll actually put this one off to the side so we can see both of them. And we'll just delete, delete that baseball right there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to my text tool. And obviously we're going to type out baseball. And we're in Corel Draw X5 we're working in right here. So in the wizard, we're just going to go to the College Black font. It's a pretty cool font that we use a lot. Now what I want to do, it usually makes it a little bit easier for me, is I like to rotate the design. It just makes it a little bit easier to line stuff up. So I'm going to rotate this design. And I'm going to do it to where my text is pretty much straight going across. Okay, So I can fit my text in. This will give me an idea of what size baseball I'm going to be able to fit in here. So let's go to, let's say about right there. So I'm good with that right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit some of the nodes and everything with this text. So in a, to make it so you're able to do that, we can go up here and if you go to your effects and your envelope tool, it's going to pull up your envelope tool over here on the side of CorelDRAW. So if I click on this text right here and let's just click the unconstrained uh, envelope tool and we're going to go add new. So now you can see we have a different look in here and it has our different nodes. So if I pull this down, you're going to get that. So I'm going to control Z, go back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start forming this the way that I want. So for example, I want the B to come down here a little bit and it's going to look weird off the start. You're going to want to delete a couple nodes. So I'm going to click on that node right there. I'm going to delete one node. So I only have the two and then you'll see your different handles here that you can move around. So you can see you can grab the handle and move it to however you want. So I want the B on this baseball to pretty much come up all the way near the top and the B on the bottom to come near the bottom. And we're going to rotate this around a little bit. I want to maybe have it a little bit straighter there and have this main B straight and we'll kind of work off of that. So as I click on the node, you'll see my handles will pull up. So I'm going to pull this handle over to here and I'm going to delete a handle in the middle right here. If you click on the square and just delete, that'll delete that actual node right there. And now I can see I have two nodes on this whole bottom path right here that I can kind of manipulate a little bit to round with the bottom of the tail like I want. Now this one obviously here we're going to have to bring down a little bit. We have a node in there. I'm going to delete it so there's only two nodes in that spot as well. And I do also want to get rid of this node in the middle here. So again I have two to work with. So that way I can work with the handles a little bit easier and have them kind of form fit this uh, tail design. So you can see how it's coming along here pretty easy. And again I'm just I can grab the handle and wherever I put it. So if I put the handle up there, it's going to go there. You can so you can kind of it gives you a little line to show you exactly what it's going to look like. So there we go. I mean that is pretty much completely done right there. Looks pretty cool. Arcs with the actual tail there nicely. Very easy to read. And then what I can do is I can just click on it. If I come over here and left click, I hold it down. It'll pull up some different red options so I can match it. Now I'm going to highlight the design click on it, rotate it back to the way that we want it with the aces kind of going across and up the top. And there we go. We just recreated that design pretty quickly in a matter of a couple minutes and you can change it to whatever. Now what the cool thing about with different things that you can do with a text like this is now that we have that kind of formed in there, you can see I went over and clicked on my text tool and let's say I wanted this for aces football. So now what I can do is I can just type in F-O-O-T, hit OK, and it forms football into there. So that's an awesome thing about creating it like this in Corel Draw, where you use the envelope tool. So someone else likes this design and they want it to say softball. 
you can just come in here and hit softball, hit OK, and there you go. You got a whole nother sport that you can sell to. So I think these ones were for vinyl car decals, but you could also create it for um, example, like a men's shirt. This would be a design that would look pretty cool on a dad shirt. So I got a daughter that plays softball. I want this design on a shirt and I want to see what it looks like. So. I got my softball there. I'm going to highlight my design. In this TRW Stone Wizard, I'm going to go to Mockups, Men Shirt, and we're at about 9.8, probably wanted to about 10 inches. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this Men Shirt right here, real quick. And look how sweet that looks. So that's, again, that's a design I would use, I would wear to my daughter's softball game. Another thing you could do pretty easy is if you came over here, charge an extra five bucks, you could put a number. 23 in there you can go to your font let's say we want to do that college black again get that college black looking like that we can do a number 23 that would look pretty good so everybody knows that who your daughter or son is on the football team baseball team cheer or whatever it is um, we can actually match those same colors again. So we could go there. And then if we want to do a quick outline of it in the wizard right here, you can just go to your place and fill. Uh, let's see what a point zero, I don't know, point zero seven looks like as an outline. So we're going to go to the outside at point zero seven and we're going to hit an island fill and we'll hit it red. That looks pretty good there. Let's change it to the same red color. There we go. Now we can highlight this. We can go to our mockups again, go to our men's shirt, click on that one. And there you go. You got a custom design now on this men's shirt with a number 23. So it's fully customized for that customer. You're, you, you open yourself to a whole new market with the dads and the brothers and the uncles and grandpas and everything else on something they'll wear that it doesn't necessarily have to be rhinestones, but look how easy you can edit that. So obviously you got the dad who loved that design and his daughter might play volleyball too, or might play soccer or something else. Just click on it, go to your text tool. And let's say they also play volleyball. Let's see what that fits like in there. Look at that. That's pretty sweet. Look how awesome that fit in there. Even though it was more words, more letters, we added two more letters to it, but the envelope tool is what made it so it was easy to change that to volleyball. So not only are you creating with this video, learning how to create and kind of uh, move around your fonts to form with your design, but when you do that with the envelope tool, then you can go in and edit them to anything you want. So that same dad, it's volleyball season. We can make him a shirt for Aces Volleyball, number 23. And there you go. Perfect shirt right on the mock-up, throws your logo on there perfectly. Send him a mock-up of exactly what it's going to look like get it to the school and you're selling a ton of shirts so hope this video helped you out michelle and everybody else on the trw crew um, a lot of great features great things you can do in corel draw when you learn them so we're going to be creating a bunch of different videos that'll just show you basic things like this that are going to obviously get you a lot of sales for your business because you're creating real unique and custom designs for all the dads and 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 the moms who don't don't want to wear the bling or you could easily watch this if we wanted to while we're in here let's click on this one here let's go to our magic glitter and we'll do silver here we'll do silver there let's do red on the outside there we'll do red here and red here and look at that now we got an awesome looking glitter heat transfer vinyl design for that mom. Let's go to mockups, women's shirt. We want to throw this on a burnout. For the mom, we probably want it, we don't want it 10 inches. We'll probably get it to about 9.5 inches. Let's throw it on this burnout shirt real quick and check out how awesome that looks. So again, completely customized with their custom number 23. Great looking shirt. You want to show them what it looks like on a black shirt you can go ahead and do that click it hold control change your background to white and there you go so 
pretty sweet with the TRW Stone Wizard version 1.12, um, Corel Draw, and being able to create custom designs like this. Pretty easy just to open up your market base. So hope this video did help you out. If you did like this video, please click the like button right below on our YouTube channel here. Make sure to comment on this video. Let us know what you think. Let us know different things that um, we can help you with if you do have any questions. Of course, we're here to help you. Michelle had a question on how to do this. We um, figured it would be a great video to show all of you. So we created a video on it and hopefully it helps a lot of you out. So if you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. Check out the website www.therhinestoneworld.com and of course check out the awesome TRW Stone Wizard version 1.12 program for Corel Draw. So again, this is Matt with therhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a great day.